Very few things in this world are more Sri Lankan than a fistful of curry leaves. Most of us have a tree in the backyard, we put it in all our curries, but here is a recipe that has a twist that is going to surprise you. Hi guys, welcome back. We're going to try out another Nora recipe in the Veggie Troubles series. And this is a very interesting recipe because there are some cool steps to this. Um, we're gonna, it, it's a curry leaf fried rice and we are first going to make a dry roast with some mung beans, some dal and curry leaves and that's going to get ground up into a powder and then that's going to get incorporated into our fried rice which is hopefully going to impress your kids and make your life a lot easier. So let's get started. This part is probably going to take you about five minutes. We're going to, like I said, dry roast it. There's no oil. We get uh, 50 grams of green gram thrown right in the pan and that's going to need to roast on a medium flame for about three minutes. So the mung beans have gotten nice and toasty. They all turn a light brown. And that's the time when we put in our two tablespoons of dal. Raw dal, we haven't cooked it, nothing. And that's going to get mixed in and also toasted. And once that brown goes in our star ingredient, which is the curry leaf, which is what the whole fried rice is based around. So the dal will cook a lot quicker than the mung beans. Um, about a minute or so would be more than enough. And the moment that gets toasty, in goes our leaves, and that'll take about the same amount of time. Just still it's lightly crispy and you can crush it into a fine powder. Yep, and I think it's about the right time for our leaves. There we go. Oh, you can immediately smell it the moment it hits the pan. You can actually even turn off the heat at this point because there'll be enough heat in the pan. And you can hear the leaves getting crunchy, but it's not quite there yet. So we're going to keep going on just a little bit longer. So it's been more than a minute. So, you know, you might have to kind of make a call when uh, as to take this off the flame. Uh, you want that, I don't know if you can hear that noise, but yeah, it should be like the rustle of dead leaves. And that's when you know that it's time to come off the flame. Okay, it's done. So what I'm gonna do now is switch this off, let it completely cool, and then we're gonna grind it to a fine powder. So guys, our green gram and curry leaf powder should look something like this once it's all ground up. And to finish up our fried rice, with very few steps left. We have our pan that's heating. We put in about a tablespoon of oil. And once that starts to get warmed up, we put in our ginger garlic. Straight up. Heat the sizzle right away. And also our onion. That's been diced real fine. Also the rumpe. When you start to smell the onions, we're gonna add our chicken. That's been diced quite fine. And when the chicken's getting warm through, we're gonna add well, actually our tomatoes first. The green gram mixture with the curry leaf. And we're also going to put in, of course, our nor cube. Just let everything together it almost looks like a color pole mixture but it's 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 not and all that's left to do is add our rice I love how the, the curry leaf powder is dotting the rice with little green flecks oh that looks yummy there you have it folks Pretty much a no-brainer. That's it. 
and I'm gonna serve myself some to try. This looks really interesting actually. So guys, give this a spin. Noah, thank you for getting me involved in making and tasting your recipes. They are phenomenal. Um, for anyone interested, we see their website on Noah.lk. All these recipes and much, much more are available as part of this campaign with your troubles. So if you're feeling uninspired and looking for something new, something you want to try and feeling adventurous or just at your wits end trying to get your kids to eat, Here's a resource that you could use. So guys, if you like what you've seen, remember to press subscribe and also click on the bell button so you get all alerts when new videos are posted on the channel. Thank you so much. Leave us a like and a comment. We look forward to seeing you again. Take care.